And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Kicker in Historic. So what this deck's about, this is about playing Grixis Control with a kick. Okay, I guess I should say we, we did have Abzan Hero um, up on the docket also, um, but uh, with the Esper Control deck taking a while earlier, we're just pushing that to the 12-hour stream tomorrow. But anyway, all right, back to our, our deck here. We're playing, this deck is, is basically just like the Grixis Control list that I've played in Historic. Uh, that you may have remembered us uh, streaming that one over and ranked. We had a 5-0 the last time. We got real fortunate in a different couple of spots and uh, did really well with it. We're playing this here with spells that have kicker now. This is this is kind of like what we're going to try out here. We got these three spells that have kicker. Akanak, what's up? Thanks for that, Risa. All right, so the reason why we're doing that is because of how uh, kicker interacts with Ooh, that's sub number 10 on the day, too. I was I was one behind. All right, that's a sub goal. Because of how Kicker interacts with um, uh, with Fires of Invention. So Fires of Invention, of course, says that you can only uh, cast two spells a turn. I mean, you all know this. And you can cast it for free if it has CMC less than or equal to the number of lands you have. Now, the Kicker is just an additional cost that you can pay, and you can just... Uh, pay with the six mana but that you don't really have to do that with the fires of invention um like you don't basically to play josu vest with kicker you don't need 10 lands um you don't need 10 lands out all you need is uh four lands for your josu vest and then you just have to manually which you can pay for free with fires and then you manually spend your six mana on the kicker spell so if we have if we have fires in play six lands we pay jo play josu vest for free spend six mana and we can pay the kicker so then we can make a four five with eight two twos so that's obviously really really powerful um Varix, all we need is our four lands we just we get to play Varix for free spend our three mana we get to kick it and uh we get another four four so you know like with fire's invention uh we can drop two four fours if we have our three mana to pay and then uh and then of course you still get to play something else because fires <laughs> of course um and then the other other kicker spell that we have is fight with fire whoa beer canthic thanks so much for gifting out some subs i appreciate that um but then yeah fight with fire also just costs six for the kickers but so like you know if we get to kick fight with fire we get to do 10 damage divide as we choose as you know that's that's super super powerful um so yeah, that's that's what our deck's all about. We're gonna try try to do those things, try to kick these spells, but then also you know we got good old Grixis control. You know we got Nickel Bolas, we got Nickel Bolas, um, lots of other good Grixis stuff. So here we go. All right, so we have ten brand new subs. That's a that's a new sub goal also. All right, we're gonna play ranked traditional historic ranked. We'll play four or five matches depending on how long they take. Um, so yeah, thank you so much there. Beer can't they gifted out 10 brand new subs and said happy new year. Happy new year to you as well. Yeah, yellow snappers getting the sub. So yeah, we got Alex Unknown, Sweet Leaf, Yellow Snappers, Elsid, Baron Penelope, Mary Vasinek, Ron Burgundy. Recon DC, Meldelvian, and the Great Dalo. All right, see how this does. We're gonna start with Watery Grave. I don't really want to shock against Mono Red. Yeah, Idyllic Tutor is a reprint. Idyllic Tutor. Yeah, they already played their land for turn. Yep, that's a whoops. Um, Bonecrusher Giant is going to be pretty annoying. I think I want to take the light up the stage, though. I don't know. I, maybe I'll just take the Bonecrusher Giant. Ooh. No. 
Yeah, so they have a lightning strike and a light up the stage. Yeah, okay. I don't think we need to keep the fifth land. Like, we need, we need to draw spells that help me win the game. The thing that I really liked about that land is that we don't have, we would not have to shock to play that on turn four. You know, we could play like Fires of Invention and not shock. Okay. Oh. No, can't see. Okay. Lower camera. Okay. So I'm down to five. Just that lightning strike. It's the thing. I need to find cards that kill my opponent. So I put the Dragon Skull Summit over there. <laughs> well, I guess. I guess if I would have kept the Dragon Skull Summit, I would not have shocked. And then, well, I wouldn't be able to play this yet because, you know, Luke, we would be one card less. I would have drawn the Ritual Ascent for turn. All right, well, they're going to kill me anyway. Yeah, I mean, we we're going to be dead. Because I, I would not have even drawn the, the Dragon God yet. It's tough to beat all those burn spells. I certainly want the other end to the God Eternals. I really like these these uh, four power creatures because I need to turn the corner. We can get rid of Narset. Um... Like, Duress is an option, but it's not, like, an option I love. I'm going to play two Duress. Yeah, um, I'll see what, which. I don't remember which sleeve we're using here, but it it's probably one I just gotten bought in the shop. Probably, or is this? Oh, actually, we're playing the Royal Scion sleeves. Okay, no, these fire and ice ones. Um, these ones are uh, these sleeves. These were like a special sleeve that you had to play an in-store event to get. They gave you a code in the store event. But yeah, they are bugged, unfortunately. Ascanta is awesome. Okay, you just want all the pets. So I know I already have another Nicol Bolas, Rav the Ravager, but this is just such a great card. Um, I can block without worrying about them killing my Nicol Bolas now. Save the life. I 
If they have a card in hand, then I'll play Ravager and make them discard the card. If they don't have a card in hand, then I'll play Josu Vess. How are we doing on cards over here? We're at four. All right, good call. So it's likely that they just have two burn spells. So this is going to force them to choose to either just burn spell me twice or Nicol Bolas. All right, looks like they chose me. Vess is the best. Obviously, they, they could just attack and I block and they just trade both of these by activating Castle Embereth. Risk factor? Well, that's a good one. I don't even have to take the two. Search for his Kanta, did awesome. But then also just the Cry of the Carnarium early. Like, that that whole game went very well for us. Let's hope it goes that well again. Like it. Obviously not shocking to play duress. It's just like basically them drawing a drawing a card. Oh it's probably Bone Crusher Giant, which which is not good. Yay, not Bone Crusher Giant. I was gonna say like a 4-3 next turn was gonna be difficult for me. Ah, same as a 3-3, it's also difficult for me. It's not good though. So that's four, eight, twelve. Oh, that's just lethal now. Just lethal. Wow. Mono red, pretty good in historic. Pretty good. Torbrand card's not bad. Yep. Gotta have the removal for that. I guess I need to put the dragon in the graveyard and try to draw removal for Torbrand. Yeah, historic... So if you play best of one, 
it's non-ranked, and if you play best of three, it's ranked. So those are those are your two two choices with historic. I guess I'm keeping because I don't really want to go to five, but this isn't great either. <laughs> Guess you gotta be earlier there, whales. Come on, I need to draw land here. I need to draw land real bad. GG. No, I haven't made a Grixis Dragon deck. Well, it's a turn too late, but it's the best we got. Can still bedevil the raptor. I guess we're gonna bedevil the rotting registrar now. Hmm. Right. That's a card. Definitely would have been a lot better if we would have hit our third land drop. So Narset out, Grasp in... Anything else we're changing? Enter the God Eternals is like too small. But I think we're gonna have to go with it. Could go with Chandra 6 instead of like one of the Kreiser Soots. Let me just play another one of these. I think we can be okay. Maybe not another one of those. Maybe not. I think we'd be okay here. Um, yeah, just kind of a, a wide variety of stuff for the 12 hour stream tomorrow. We're gonna be doing some standard, some historic, some of the uh, standard uh, um, shake up. We'll just be doing a wide variety. Well, that's unfortunate. 
obviously my plan was to kill the land war elf here and kind of get them stuck with these cards in hand while I had time to set up that marauding raptor is a really good draw um yeah that's really that's really good I guess I probably need to take this Registor Alpha now. All right, that's good. That's a good way to to you know, stop the, the that can kill the Marauding Raptor and block a Ceratops. Uh, possible Samuel. I'm not. I'm not sure. But yeah, poss possibly they'll be available in the store for purchase at a later time as well. So need to kill. I'm killing the Ceratops right away before the Marauding Raptor does damage to it, so that the Marauding Raptor doesn't get the plus two plus zero. Also. Wow. At a, a one mana thing that added two power. Man, good games. Oh, and two. Not giving us any time. Hey, t Seth, Happy New Year. Okay. We're not playing against a super fast aggro deck, which is the good news. Bad news. I put that in, in the graveyard because we need lands. <clears throat> Bad news. They still got a good, good fast start here. This is a tap land. We're at 12. We can't we just can't play a tap land this turn. All right. 
rewarded. I'm honestly surprised to keep Wild Growth Walker in this kind of matchup, like on top. Honestly surprised by that decision. Next turn, we get to play Blade Wing and kick Blade Wing. We get to make two 4-4s. Four and if we draw a land, we get to play Dragon God also. Let's play Dragon God first. So they have less information here. In exchange for eternal and then we start servitude. exiling stuff. Plus, I, I may have drawn a Ritual of So, which would have been even better. Let your weak minds crumble. Sweet animation. Thank you, Noxious Girl. Yeah, having a great holiday season. And hope you're having a good one, too. Yeah, thanks for the, the kind words. All right, let's keep on top. I'm going to cast this first before ticking up. Basically to... Um, All right, so we're going to kick this. We're going to do one damage here and nine damage there. But basically, I wanted to give them less cards to exile with Nicol Bolas, but now, now, obviously, I just wish I would have attacked first. But oh well. I wasn't really planning on attacking before drawing that fight with fires. <laughs> yeah, kicker with fires of invention is pretty broken. All right, yeah, they just put themselves dead on board now. Yeah, sometimes you just have to fight fire with fire. <laughs> Gotta fight fire with fire. It's true. Okay, so we're playing against um, some wild growth walker stuff. We're going to cut... ETGE, bring in a Noxious Grasp. I'm not sure what I want my other cut to be, but I think I want to play another Noxious Grasp. But I'm not sure out of this 61 what I want to cut. Cry the Cranarium. Yeah, yeah, we'll just play the Ritual of so Sets. That's good. Or maybe like one Cry. Could cut the other Cry and play an Awakened Inferno. Now we'll, we'll go one cry. Think I should have brought in the Chandra? I mean, if we need to fight fire with fire, Chandra is the girl to do it. Yeah, the the kicker spells all yeah, Zach, so the kicker spells um they aren't they aren't in standard, and that's why we haven't really seen them with with fires of invention because they're not in standard. They were in the kicker was from Dominaria, which rotated out. Josu, Josu, this. Yeah, Shiv and Fire Head Kicker. I don't think Shiv and Fire is 
good enough though. Even though he had kicker, I mean, because you have to like spend the four mana on kick on the kicker to do just an extra two damage. Yeah, I just I wasn't feeling well yesterday, so I didn't have a stream. <clears throat> well, I wish I would not have played the Josie Vess already. Yeah, I think there's a good chance that Demir will be good with Theros. The the thing about Demir though is it de like the main problem is going to be enchantments. Theros does have yeah, Theros is just an enchantment set, and it doesn't. My schemes are never ending. Ooh, they got me. I want that land. And yeah, it doesn't have the answers to enchantments. Alright, now we're gonna have. Now we're gonna have lethal. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. It doesn't. <clears throat> They had to get duress back. The only way they could stay alive is getting duress back because the fight with fire. kick the fight with fire and do a whole lot of damage. We're one and two. I like the pace of historic games more than the pace of standard games. They're, they're certainly faster. So, you know, like we've played three matches here in 34 minutes. Even even like that last match, we weren't playing against an aggro deck, but it's still a quicker match, and you saw that us be able to put games away quickly. Yeah, Josie Vess has Menace. They couldn't block Josie Vess. I didn't need to kill the blocker. Um... I do really like Searcher as Kanta. Then we have, you know, Fires. We have kind of like our two best cards to start with. But we need more lands. As Kanta hopefully gets us there. Yeah, I like Abzan Wolves. I mean, I, I really like the deck. I think it's it's definitely real fun to play. And, and Abzan has some really good interaction for, um, for the the Cauldron Familiar decks. Well, this was just the worst case scenario though of keeping was that the top four card, none of the top four cards were land, and that was the case. None of our top four cards were land. Um, yeah, you you may not want to use wild cards on it right now. We're just a, a few weeks away from... We're, we're like two weeks away, I guess technically like 16 days away from Theros. 
being here. Man, talk about an anti Grixis deck. Enchantment, enchantment. Liliana's impossible to deal with. Uh, arena. I like all these cards. I think it was either Narset or Enter the God Eternals. I mean, I guess I could get rid of Fire with Fire if I don't think I'm going to be able to kick it. But kicking a Fire with Fire will just win the game for us. Born. That's an amazing card. This is not good. All right, I guess I'm discarding fight with fire. No, I'm going to discard this. They're going to be able to Othakaya and kill one of my dragons. That's how life is. I guess, I guess they're probably going to get back Nicol Bolas. That's going to then make me discard the fight with fire. Oh, well, I guess... No, I, I'm, I am drawing a card. So maybe we draw... Yeah, we'll get rid of that card of the Carnarium. Good. No! Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I thought I misclicked. Thought I misclicked there for a second. Alright, that, 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 and that. Alright, we're gonna do four to this, one here, so that's five, seven, so we got three extra. Fight with fire. We'll go search our library for another fight with fire. And do 10. Kick it. Upstairs. Dude, kicker with fire's invention is pretty sweet. 
<laughs> yeah, my opponent was like, my hand was awesome last time I didn't win. Can't not gonna be able to get not gonna be able to get this. Alright, we're two and two. <laughs> yeah. 10 damage split however you want for 6 mana. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so we'll play... You know, we're going to start with Water Grave, of course. That'll lead up. That'll start off my hand here. Okay. Okay. My hand was really good. But obviously we're not counting that towards a... That's not a win. Hey, track team. Day's been okay. Day's been okay. Um... Getting getting over what I had yesterday, and uh, trying to you know ease Hawkeye and help him eat and stuff like that. But yeah, day's been okay, and we're we'll be doing the twelve hour stream tomorrow. <sighs> this hand's close. If we had blue mana, it'd be very very good. I'm gonna try it. With us being on the draw. If we we're on the play, I would mulligan. But with us being on the draw, we get that one extra draw. It's not just... We don't just have, like, you know, one draw before turn two. We get two. Hey, Happy New Year, Logos. Combo. You just look like a Rakdos late. deck right now. Let's try this. That's definitely a card to kill. What was the two card rewards for like for the new season that we're gonna about to have? I don't know. The two that we just got. Um, we just got them, so you'd think I would remember what they were. Alright, so Narsa will help shut down Jace. The real question is, do I play Thought Erasure first to protect Narset? And I think the answer is yes. So we're going to go Thought Erasure here first. I guess they get to bounce fires, though. All right, never mind. There are so many mysteries to uncover. I'm not minusing Narset because of Othakaya. Like, but I guess they could play Oath, bounce it with the fairy. But still, if they do their bouncy with the fairy, they're not drawing a card because of Narset. Thank you. Yeah, Hypnotic Sprite, Wildborn Preserver. That's right. Those. Good call. Those cards. So there's another Mox Amber.
That was not a bad draw. <laughs> Whoops. It's a matter of I don't think they sacrificed the correct one. Doesn't mean they're done, you know, they can still use Lazav and, you know, like they... Like, yeah, they could, they could still certainly win this turn, but... Well, I don't think they could win this turn. Maybe, I don't know, they're close. Ooh, another Mox Amber, that's what they need. Hey, Subatex, Happy New Year. This Narset has been clutch. No, I am not making this up as I go. Well, yeah, I mean, all they have to to win, yeah, because they need to be able to draw, yeah, they have to be able to draw a card while their library has no cards in it. So if they, if they do mill themselves out completely, then I just need to find removal for Jace, right? Because they probably don't have instant speed card draw for, like, card draw on my turn. I mean, if they can kill, if they can kill Narset... But they're gonna have to like you know use start having these moxes add black and white and then cast the two Othakayas. They, so they could kill Narset. They have two Othakayas now. So yeah, they, they should be able to do this. Yeah. Yeah, so they Yeah, this game's over if they if they figure it out. But I guess I'll we'll make sure that they figure it out. But yeah, they they have this one. Looks like they figured it out. I must stay focused. So no, no Ashiok in this deck. It's gonna make this harder. Cause you saw that like, you know, they had, we played the Nickel, the Nickel Bulls, the Ravager, they had no hand, untap, drew a Kethys, and just win on the spot. Grasp does kill Kethys. 
So maybe I should be playing that. But the thing is, like, basically all we're doing is taking out removal at this point anyway. It's either that or, like, I don't play this much discard. Um... I'm going to take out one Josu Vest and then. Everything kind of does their, their thing. I guess I'm just not going to play Duress. Boo. If we just had two lands. If you shuffle up any, any one of these six cards and just give me a land, I would keep it. All right, this will do. Um, getting putting back Bedevil because it's just one for one. I, I'd rather have like the ritual so they can clean up a lot of things. But I think we we need the clock with the blade wing. Gonna take the Teferi. It bounces Blade Wing token, but also just bounces like their thing to redraw cards. I'm gonna be egoing the Kethis. So I didn't really need to take the Kethis. So basically, the Kethis is a random card. Three Emery's. Wish Claw Talisman. Two Tayshar. Yeah, we got all four. <laughs> yeah, the animation is a little weird. But yeah, we got all four.
So Emery can recast the Talisman. I don't know. Maybe I need to sit there. No. I, I mean, I like I like getting this here because if we kill the, the Teferi, they don't get to just rebounce the Talisman back to their hand. But I guess, I guess they already bounced it with Teferi. Hopefully no spell pierce. All right, good. Hey, Eridaz. Happy New Year. Okay, so we're one and one going to game three. They're gonna have a backup plan now for Unmoored Eco. That is certain. I do like how Chandra can exile with the minus X, but six, of course, is pretty expensive. But is that, is that better than anything that we have here? Probably not. Like, I think the soot is important. I'm going to play one Varix, one Josu Vess. It's actually, Var Varix may not be that amazing against little Teferi being able to bounce, like, the one token. Where Josu Vess can, like, just make all those tokens. Um... Yeah, Elder Spell's not bad. I don't really have room for Elder Spell except for cutting Noxious Grasp. But I think that killing Kethys is more important... Noxious Grass was the worst card in my deck, but it does a very specific thing in killing Kethys, which is important. But maybe Duress, Elder Spell, Chandra, which deal with other things in the deck, could be more important, especially with an Unmoored Ego for Kethys game plan. Kethys, Mox Amber are the two most important things to Ego. Balder, happy new year. Well, this hand is really panning out well. Never mind. I take it all back. Wish I would have just played Narset. <laughs> you know, Narset would have taken three.
I don't know if I even need to keep that. No, Tashark. Um, oh wait, we have Noxious Grasp. Okay, we're good. They didn't have another Mox Amber. Got five in the graveyard. They keep drawing Lazav. Oh, they keep drawing <clears throat> Kepis. Mind and body should move and move. I have just the trick for this. Ugh. Can't play Nicobolas. They didn't keep that land. No, definitely not attacking because they'd be able to kill Narset. I don't want them to kill Narset. Oh my gosh! That was the single worst draw step I could see. Excavator. Well, it's still going to be pretty hard for them to win. They can't activate Emery right now because, you know, Emery doesn't have haste. Okay. Um, I guess I don't really care. If, like, so yeah, they'll cast Emery. Get to mill six. Just all spells and lands, but not Mox Amber. Good. No Mox Amber. They're good. So they can do that again and replay another Fibblethip. But Fibblethip doesn't draw because of Narset. Yeah. But then, yeah, they get to play play Mox, play Fibblethip. They get to mill four more cards and try to hit another Mox. Hopefully no. Good. Land, land. All right, we'll take it. That's good, too. All right, so that, that was definitely good for me. So even though they drew the Excavator, which was the worst draw for me to see, after that, it's gone about as well as I could hope. But they're still good. Yeah, they still get to do this again. Oh, they hit an Emery? Oh, I guess that was the other blue card they hit was Emery. That was not good. That's a lot of mill. All right, they get six more cards. No Mox, no Mox. But 
But I guess, I mean, they just keep on hitting legends, though. I guess this just isn't going to end. Yeah, I guess they just have this one, don't they? Yeah, this is over. Man, that diligent excavator draw. Man. Because, like, the next turn, I'm going to flip as Canton, so I'm going to be able to activate as Canton. I'm going to be able to activate Narset also. So, like, I didn't, I didn't draw something that that turn to, to kill Lazav, but there's no way I was m missing on another thing to kill Lazav. We already knew my bottom three weren't. We were definitely going to be killing Lazav from here. Like, our next turn. So, like, they had to draw Excavator that one turn. And hit like this, and they did. What's, what's the opponent's plan is just is uh, Jace. Play Jace. Well, I guess that's... I guess that plan doesn't... Because of Narset, they can't just win right now with Jace. So they'd have to... they have to mill me out? They are going to run out of cards... To exile. I don't I don't think they have enough gas to mill me, I don't think. I'm at forty two. Oh. Yeah, never mind. They just have Teferi bounces the Nicol Bolas, which then they get to attack and kill Narset. <sighs> and then they play the Jace. And win. Yeah, that and the time didn't really matter. They were they were winning that in the next like two and a half minutes. I mean not even it wouldn't even take them that long. That game was over. Dang. All right, so there's Grixis Kicker. We got to do some cool stuff with the Kicker. All three of our losses felt, you know, pretty unfortunate with, uh, real like with how strong of aggro hands that we played against, and then, um, and then that Kethis. That was a couple of awesome draws. You know, like they they drew a Diligent Excavator off the top twice, both game one and game three. Um, you know, whenever I, I was looking good, both games, they just drew an excavator off the top. Um, you know, when they, when they had no cards in hand either time. <clears throat> and that's, that, that'll do it. So that happens. Um, one Ashiok wouldn't be bad. Uh, that's not a, a deck that I've faced that much in Historic. But, you know, we have the Egos. Uh, you know, we didn't draw Ego. I mean, so it's like, yeah, like we have the Egos there. And um, I had that turn that I could have found something to kill Lazav, and I didn't. Um, I guess the first game, they, they drew a Kethis off the top. They drew Lazav, which was Kethis. And that game, they drew Excavator. Drew exactly what they needed. I, I would be pretty confident in facing that matchup again. I think we got pretty unlucky there. All right, but there we go. So that's Grix's Kicker. Um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know. what do you think? Did you like this more than the other Grixis control deck that we played before? Do you like the kicker spells more? Um, fight with fire looked awesome and, and just blade wing and Josu vest did a really good job closing out games. They were good against aggro too with the, with the bodies. Um, I liked them myself. I liked them myself, but yeah, let me know over on the YouTube comments. what you think of them? But that's it here for Grixis Kicker, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.